Welcome back, citizens and all. Welcome back to a little more Entrouded. So we are out here. We did a quest that led us to the Oasis. And there's a chest down here that you'll get... You'll find the location for with that quest. And it does respawn loot. This time there's a nice shield of light in there. I think that's an upgrade on what I had. Let's see. 17 block versus 15. Yeah, better parry power. Better max durability. So we got that. And then we're going to teleport to this up here if we can. Once we get out of the shroud. Let's get out of the shroud. There we go. And now we're going to teleport to our marker close by. Just because we don't want to run back. We're trying to show this off quickly. So there's that chest there. There is a second chest nearby. Uh, there's also a catacomb in there. But you have to move all the sand out of the way. And then simply at the top of this hill. There will be a nice happy golden chest sitting here and again we're over in the oasis we're on the far side of the map of kindle waste you can travel over to the oasis from the spire and then on the top of this hill here there's another gold chest this chest pops some really nice items great example again really nice items nice legendary bow so we will obviously be using that that is a good step up over our existing bow and then we had also gotten the tempest one from it so a little bit about legendary chest hunting or legendary loot drop hunting if you're on a single player file file you can log in and out and, we'll, and, and it will uh, reset these immediately if you're on a dedicated server you have access to reboot it if you reboot it restart it it's like logging in and out single player so you can make these chests be available for immediate reloot so keep that in mind enjoy the chest hunt and i wish you all the best You'll take care. Just like, subscribe, and enjoy Enshrouded.